This is Wendy. She's thirsty, so she pours herself a glass of water. Like the rest of us, she does so every day without giving it much thought. Even though Wendy knows that her faucet connects to pipes and pumps and a water source somewhere, and that many other people like her get water in a similar way, she doesn't think much about the complex systems behind it all. Nor does she stop to think much about how her use of water to make a cup of tea, clean her home, wash the dishes, keep her fish alive, is an essential part of this very complex system. In fact, a series of complex systems, because the faucet and pipes and heaters and filters and pumps in Wendy's building connect to those across her city, to the cafeteria at her office, the cafe she visits every morning, her neighborhood restaurant, the manufacturing plant that makes her favorite jeans, and eventually to a very complex natural system, oceans, rivers and lakes, weather, clouds and rainfall, underground springs and aquifers, and all the plants and animals living in and around them. In fact, although thinking about how various things in our lives and our work connect and influence one another can be challenging, it is a big advantage for anyone trying to improve the way the world works. This is systems thinking. It is essential because our world will only become more and more complex. Why? Because the world is becoming more interconnected and interdependent. Systems can be complex because they have so many parts or elements, but really complex systems, like Wendy's complete water system, behave in a complex way because of the highly interdependent, variable relationships of all those elements interacting, something called dynamic complexity. Connected elements in a complex system send signals to other parts of the system. When Wendy turns her faucet, she's sending a signal for water which is received eventually by her building's water tank and eventually the city's reservoir. Often, the results of interaction of elements in a system are counterintuitive and therefore difficult to predict. People, for instance, do not always do what we think they will. During her city's last drought, some of Wendy's friends increased watering their lawns because they did not want to see them turn brown. Today, faster movement of information, including signals, across many systems can speed up interactions and consequences, seemingly faster than we can understand what's going on. So how can Wendy or any of us use systems thinking? By understanding a system's behavior, what occurs in a system over time, leaders can better forecast, plan, adapt, influence, and improve how things work. So what drives and can therefore change the behavior of systems? It's the structure, the way its elements interconnect and communicate through signals, and rules of a system that determine its behavior. And learning how to influence the behavior of a system through its structure and rules can really help improve it. But the structure and rules Wendy might think of as her water system extend far beyond just water. Her water system connects to and is powered by an electricity system, that structure. A dam near Wendy City produces hydroelectricity, derived from harnessing the power of moving water, and so is priced less than electricity from other sources. That's a system rule. Farmers living outside Wendy City use water for their crops and get a special price, another rule, so Wendy's water system connects to the city's food supply system and together with all the factories that use water, connect the water system to the region's economic systems. Farmers and engineers and governments and rain and rivers and floods and all are connected in a system so complex it can overwhelm Wendy's and our ability to understand. Luckily, there is help. Today, intelligent sensors and devices collect better data about systems than ever before. We can share that data more easily with many more people. And we can analyze the data in more sophisticated ways, providing the insight we need to better understand and influence the behavior of systems. This can help Wendy and us know what is really happening and understand why. Leaders of all types can then make their organizations and the systems they comprise and interact with more resilient and sustainable. Meaning Wendy can count on enjoying clean, healthy water with her neighbors, communities, and the businesses that serve them across a growing city for a long time to come.